So what's going on guys, my name is Mr. Dalek JD and welcome back to another Black Ops 3 video and in this one we're going to be taking a look at something zombies related which is pretty exciting stuff. Nothing too massive but it's definitely something that we can look out for and it could maybe give us a little insight into what we could be getting in Black Ops 3 zombies. So let's jump straight into this. So a few days ago Treyarch put a picture up of a musician called Tiger who visited their offices, played Black Ops 3 and was given a special t-shirt. Now this is a t-shirt made by uh, a company called Young and Reckless. They had a series of shirts which they gave out to some uh, celebrities as well as myself and another group of YouTubers who went to visit Treyarch. And these were just a standard shirt which had like a kind of tie-dye background with the uh, Roman numerals for the Black Ops 3 logo on it. But now in this picture, Tiger's been given a brand new shirt, again made by the same company, Young and Reckless, but instead of the Roman numerals, it's now a zombie shirt. Shirt. Now it's very hard to make out in this image what the zombie shirt actually has, we can just see what looks like a face, but luckily another person visited the studio a few days after, Evan Longoria, and he got given the t-shirt as well, and he's posted a full image on Twitter of what this shirt looks like. It says shout out to Call of Duty and Treyarch for this sick, young and restless limited run T hashtag Black Ops 3, hashtag COD Zombie. So if you flip this image around so we can see it in a portrait we can see that the image that we have on the shirt is the back of someone don't pay attention too much to the bum guys holding what looks like in one hand a zombie's head which looks insane and on the other hand we have what looks like some sort of weapon with zombies like in front of this person as well now straight away there's another really epic Bit in this image and if you look above the pants that the girl's wearing I'm assuming this is a girl anyway we have a tattoo of the two Mustang and Sally pistols and above that we have a another tattoo above which is written to say Sally which is epic now another tattoo to note which is probably slightly less important is on the woman's left arm which you can see the Roman numerals for Black Ops 3 that's probably just to show that the shirt is a Black Ops 3 related shirt and I'm sure it doesn't really have any other explanation but the Mustang and Sally tattoo definitely is a really really nice homage and like a massive uh, throwback to like the most iconic weapons in zombies being the Mustang and Sally pistols but something that we need to note here is that if we go and cast our minds back to 2012 just before Black Ops 2 came out we started getting like marketing campaigns we got images and this was the first ever image we got for Black Ops 2 zombies now this turned out to be Misty, one of the Black Ops 2 characters, and as you can see, she's in a quite a similar pose to how this woman is in this shirt image. Just like on the shirt, Misty is holding a zombie's skull in one arm, and on the other arm, she's wielding a gun. Now, in the shirt image, it's not a shotgun, but still, nonetheless, it is a weapon, so it's very, very similar to how Misty's pose was in the original image. So that begs the question, does that mean Misty is going to be returning in Black Ops 3 Zombies, we're not quite sure. Both images seem to be in this kind of like apocalyptic kind of environment. In the Black Ops 2 one, we could see like rubble and kind of like destroyed earth underneath Misty, which is what Transit turned out to be. And on the image on the shirt, we have a distinctive background as well. To me, it looks like uh, in the background and where this character is, the sun is setting. So it's going from day into night and you've kind of got this really kind of rich, vibrant glow from the sun as it's setting. But that's just my opinion on that. But the important question we need to ask is, is this Misty? Now we know from the buried map in Zombies in the Richthofen inside of the Easter Egg, there's gonna be a point where all the characters die and they will die in Buried. So from that fact alone, we can tell that Misty probably won't make it into Black Ops 3 Zombies as she is going to die at some point in Buried, regardless of when that is in, in any point of time, she's gonna be dead in Buried, we know that for sure. Now in Black Ops 2 Zombies, Misty didn't have any of these tattoos that we see present on the shirt. She never had any tattoo on her ass. She never had any tattoos on her arms. So it'd be weird to explain when exactly that happened in the storyline if this was her. But like, you've got to think like this is so obviously similar to the initial reveal of Misty back in 2012 that someone at Triarch was thinking like, let's make something very, very similar so that people can relate to this character. And there is a lot of similarities between this image and the one in 2012 like they're both female they've both got an 
a, he a zombie's head in one of their hands. They've got a weapon in the other. They both look like they're about to kill zombies and they're both in the zombies mode. Like, it's not exactly 100% that this is Misty, but I wouldn't exactly rule this out. But if you think about the storyline type of things, it doesn't exactly make sense if this was Misty. So this could in fact be a brand new Zombies character that they're going to introduce in Black Ops 3, which is very similar to Misty, but again is a different female character that's going to be amongst a maybe perhaps a brand new crew or maybe even Misty's going to be involved in the storyline even if she's not alive anymore who knows let me know what you think about this all down below in the comment section I wanted to bring you this because this zombie shirt is pretty bad ass like this looks absolutely awesome and uh, probably another big question you guys are having is how can you get your hands on this shirt now this is like an exclusive shirt they Treyarch are only giving these out to certain people like celebrities that visit their studio or perhaps certain VIPs so I have no idea if this shirt will ever become available publicly but I wanted you guys to see this shirt because it's pretty awesome and also it's just a really cool design and we can try and pick out some little things about it towards our like Black Ops 3 Zombies mode. Now we have literally less than a week until we get like so much information about Black Ops 3. We're going to be getting gameplay of the campaign. I'm assuming that's going to be happening at one of the conferences either Xboxes or Microsofts and we're going to be seeing some multiplayer stuff as well because multiplayer is playable on the show floor. I doubt they'd let that happen without showing to the public perhaps a small mini multiplayer reveal or maybe they might just give us the whole full-fledged multiplayer reveal. It's going to be absolutely insane so make sure you guys are around on my channel next week so I can bring you guys a ton of Black Ops 3 informational videos to let you guys know on what's happening with the game and what Treyarch could bring into us. But thank you so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed this video smash that like button. I'd really really appreciate that. Subscribe if you're new and I'll catch you on another video soon.